A shocking story out of Skidmore, Missouri. A family member found the 23-year-old woman. Investigators say someone murdered that mother and took her unborn child. The talk at Gary's Bar and Grill on this night centered on the house just south of town, Lisa Montgomery's home. Police descended on this rural location. Apparently, Lisa Montgomery told her family, I've delivered the baby, quote, come pick me up. So she doesn't work here anymore because she had a baby? Supposedly. You know, I had hoped that we had a live baby and that we needed to focus on that. An infant girl was brought to Stormont Vale Hospital. I asked the sheriff whether or not this is indeed the baby. He said, yes, it appears to be. The baby is here tonight, we are told, remarkably doing well. The execution of Lisa Montgomery. We are live outside the federal penitentiary in Terre Haute, Indiana. In less than 24 hours, Lisa Montgomery will be executed for murder and kidnapping. This was a brutal crime, something many of us will never forget. It is something that KCTV5 has now been covering for more than a decade. We have a lot of information to share with you tonight, and we begin with what happened 16 years ago. This is a part of all of us that we'll never forget. It'll always haunt us. Bobby Joe Stennett was butchered in this house. Her and Zeb's bedroom was here in the front, and then the next room was where the murder took place. I, I can't imagine. Choked with a rope. She was strangled more than once. The baby was cut from her stomach, and Bobby Joe slowly bled out. It left me angry that somebody would come in and do this to another human. The house where Bobby Joe lived is destroyed. In many ways, so is Skidmore. And almost everyone connected to this case. I've seen the other side of her. She's a monster. Uh, she, um, yeah, there's no redeeming quality there. Lisa Montgomery's lawyers argue she's mentally ill has brain trauma, and has suffered sexual abuse and torture all of her life. Her life should be spared. What are your thoughts on that? It needs to proceed. Uh, it needs to proceed. Um, she meticulously planned this for days, if not months. It affected all the investigators that were involved. Sheriff Randy Strong was an investigator with the major case squad back in 2004. We were angry. He tracked leads to Melbourne, Kansas, and says he found the most hideous sham. She stood up and she fake walked like a woman that had just given birth, um, like it was painful for her. Turns out Lisa Montgomery was never pregnant. She was a killer who fed those around her a pack of lies. Investigators and even her husband, there was no birth. It was murder and kidnapping. Lisa stepped in behind her with a garrote, wrapped it around her hands and reached down and, and went over her head with it and, and strangled her. Sheriff Strong unpacked brutal details for those feeling sorry for the killer. Montgomery researched how to perform a C-section. She made a dry run to Skidmore the day before the murder. Montgomery brought umbilical cord clamps, a rope, and a knife to the Skidmore house. He believes Montgomery knew right from wrong the day she was caught and points out Bobby Joe fought for her life. She was grabbing the knife. She had Lisa Montgomery's hair in her hands. Sheriff Strong is haunted by Bobby Joe's feet. Blood was on the soles. The medical examiner explained Bobby Joe was alive when the baby was cut from her stomach. She moved her legs and feet. I have no sympathy for Lisa Montgomery for what she did. That was the most monstrous act I can think of. 
Bobby Joe Stinnett's family has asked for privacy since the beginning, and we certainly are honoring that request. The baby in question recently celebrated her 16th birthday, which of course is the anniversary of her mother's death. She now lives with her father, but they no longer live in Skidmore, Missouri. It is unclear if they will be here for the execution. They certainly have that right as family members. Now, Lisa Montgomery has a lot of supporters, a lot of visible supporters. They are saying she should not face the death penalty because she has lived a life full of torture. I am heartbroken over this. I'm telling you all, I'm heartbroken. Meet Diane Mattingly. She's Lisa Montgomery's sister. She should have never been put on death row. Diane and other advocates say Lisa Montgomery was brutally tortured throughout her life, beaten, raped, and neglected. Lisa was broken. She was completely broken from all of it. So when I look at everything that they say about her, you can see it step by step where they broke her down. Diane swears it's true. She survived it before being removed from the home at eight years old. Do you believe there was sexual abuse? I was raped in that home. So, yes. Court exhibits now feature Lisa's childhood moments, marking her passage of times. This is the age she first remembers being sexually assaulted. It was in a cornfield. She'd grow up being beaten and raped by her stepfather and his friends, according to court documents than trafficked by her own mother. My heart goes out to the family that lost their daughter, that lost their mother, that lost their wife. She understands Lisa should never be free, but she also can't understand the justice in her sister's death. KCTV5 reviewed numerous doctor's notes and legal exhibits as part of our investigation. Here's what those reveal. Montgomery has been diagnosed with bipolar, anxiety, PTSD, borderline personality disorder, and psychosis. Doctors suspect traumatic brain injuries from car crashes and rapes. Testimony in old court documents back up claims of rape, torture, and neglect for almost all of her life. In some ways, prison has been a blessing. Montgomery is no longer abused and has mental health treatment and medication. I'm wanting President Trump to understand that she is broken. She's mental illness. She has been sexually abused her whole life. Please commute this to life. That's what I'm asking as a sister. I'm begging you as a sister to commute it to life. Lisa Montgomery has that clemency petition before President Trump. Recently, her attorneys have argued that this execution must be stopped because she has lost touch with reality, and that makes it unconstitutional.